one bedroom apartment here in downtown San Jose, California. But compared to San Francisco, they charge like three or four hundred dollars additional. Like, I like the look of it and uh, it's very industrial and I live by myself and I don't do a lot of cooking. Yeah, does, does anyone else just put their cookingware in, in their oven? Or that's just me. It's all I was I need to get it. I love the pattern and I love the color, but it was freaking expensive. Hi everybody, hi friends. So I've been watching a lot of apartment and house videos on YouTube. So I kind of got inspired to do a video on my own. This is my one bedroom apartment in downtown San Jose, California. Um, I've been here for around eight, nine months now and I pay roughly around $24.50 for rent here, but that's excluding utilities and electricity. Um, and since it's downtown, I have to pay an additional $100 for parking here. I, I live by myself, I don't have any pets. And yeah, I hope this video will help someone who's apartment hunting or trying to relocate to San Jose and like get a feel of like what $2,500 will get you for an apartment. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so this is my front door guys and that's my keys. I normally just hang it by the door. Um, and the first thing you will see when you walk in is my Mira, which I got from Ikea. I feel like everybody has this mirror nowadays. <laughs> um, but it's this apartment, like they somehow have like an empty box or gap here for people to put their maybe shoes rack or console. Yeah, so I decided to put my mirror here. And then over here is the hallway. So this is the this is my bathroom. I can show you guys that later. This is a storage area, but I use it to uh, put my shoes and like when people come over, they can use, they can hang their coats and jacket here. On this side is the washer and dryer. Yeah, so when I was apartment hunting, I knew I wanted to make sure there was a washer and dryer in my unit, which is great. My laundry basket. And my thermometer. Oh, so something about this apartment is that I can control like all the lights and then like locks and temperature right off my phone or even connect to my Google Mini. And then this is the light. Yeah, it's cool how they have like different levels of brightness I can choose from. And now we're entering the kitchen. This is my refrigerator. Um, those are all my work, working out supplements I put on top. And I guess I can show you guys what's inside. Yeah, so I live by myself and I don't cook a lot. And normally I just eat out. <laughs> and so the toaster is from Amazon. I think I got it for like $20. Um, I can link everything in the description if anyone's interested. Some cookingware. This is my kettle pots. I drink a lot of like matcha and tea. Yeah, the counter to me was very new and clean looking when I first moved in. Cabinet's great. So this is all my spices. I got a set for a housewarming gift and then I decided to buy more. I think you can get them at Walmart or even Amazon. My utensils. Um, I got both of them from West Elm. I I didn't know what which color to choose from so I got both. And I didn't want like the genetic silverware so I got something different. Also from West Elm. I forgot what's the name of this collection but they also have like white white or like brown colors and in the back i just got jars glass jars from ikea uh, i put like nuts brown rice some chocolate chip stuff for right here for making acai bowls um up here i have all my more 
cups and more glassware. And I literally just have like one pot and one pan <laughs> here. Like I, again, like I live with myself. I don't, I don't normally cook. Um, here's my cleaning supplies. My, I guess this is like my tea latte station in the morning. I, I yeah, I drink a lot of teas. Here's my snacks. I only need to have some noodles. Yeah, so this is the kitchen. And in the back here, it's my working station, my computer station. Um, I work from home, so I'm basically here a lot. I got this table at Pottery Barn and I think they advertise it as a dining table, but I don't know, I saw it and I was like, I like the look of it and uh, it's very industrial and it's supposed to be a, either a sitting down or standing up table by, you can crank the steering wheel here and it, you don't need any plugs or wires here. It's very manual, which I love. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, I don't know what this like holes do, but yeah, <laughs> um, let's see. I got my Apple monitor here and it's supposed to be like a dual monitor when I'm working if I want to have like a second screen. Um, Sometimes when I work, I like to watch like Netflix or like YouTube. Let's see, this dual I got from West Elm. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, and now here is the living room. And... Basically, I want to say like 90% of everything you see here is from West Elm. Um, and again, I will link everything below. This rug is so nice. When I saw it, I was like, I need to get it. I love the patterns and I love the colors, but it was freaking expensive. <laughs> but it's, the material is so worth it though. Um, yeah, I forgot what size this is, but I will link it. Um, let's see, this, it's, uh, this is the Remy sectional they have on in West Elm. So so I actually got the four set. And then, but apparently like they lost my corner piece right here after waiting like five months. They've, they asked me if I want to reorder and wait another like five months or just get my money back. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be here that much longer. So I'm just going to get my money back. And if anything, I'll just buy it later on. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty, I want to say maybe like four out of five comfortability i this is like my favorite spot in the whole entire apartment like i normally just take my laptop and lay here <laughs> with my throws um yeah uh let's see it's great all the pillows i got from west elm this is my side table i normally just put like my uh teas or like drinks here um i i don't know i really like this it's supposed to be made out made out of like volcano ashes or like lava, like I don't know, stone. But yeah, this is great. Also from West Elm. And the table is from West Elm. I knew I wanted something wood. And I, I just like something simple. And then this you can like pull this out. I put all my games in here, my board game in here when people come over. Yeah, so all my photos frames i was debating if i want to hang it up but you know what i was like nah i'm just gonna leave it there <laughs> i didn't want to make any holes in the wall uh this is my my bootleg ladder i got from urban outfitters it was like five dollars but you know it's like very wobbly and not durable uh, i'm probably gonna throw that away and here are all my plants you can tell i'm a really big like rubber plant kind of guy and yeah it's just love it it's currently winter apparently so there's no leaves but normally in the fall like it's really beautiful here with all like the orange leaves uh let's see this is the back street by the way of the apartment building so it's not as loud in the daytime compared to nighttime. 
Normally at nighttime, it gets really loud because there's like bars and clubs down downstairs. Um, but honestly, like I don't hear much because I have my window closed and it's pretty much soundproof. So I never get, I never have trouble sleeping. Um, and then I got those pots from West Elm as well. I got them when they were on sale for like 50% off. So I got both of them. And then here is my TV and media console. Uh, this one also from West Elm. Uh, I put like my socks and like underwears in there. Uh, some like CDs and movies down there. This is my trash can I got from West Elm, but I don't, I don't, I don't think West Elm made this. I think it's from a third party, I believe. All right, now let's go into my bedroom. All right, so the bedroom, my bedroom doesn't have any windows other than this one. From all the units here, they have this window where you can look out or like at least some kind of sunlight will shine in in the morning. This is my bed from West Elm, my side table from West Elm, my rug is from West Elm. Um, uh, my bed sheets are from West Elm as well. Um, yeah, so I forgot what is the name of this bed frame, but it's like, there was like a black one and a gold one and it was on sale and I ended up getting the gold one because I thought it would match with the, with the wood theme I was going for. But, you know, I got this like a long time ago and several years later, I'm like very, I'm like regretting buying it. <laughs> Cause like, I guess like I'm not into gold anymore and I don't know, it looks very tacky now and very girly, but whatever. Uh, let's see, okay, so over here is just my shelves that I got from Pottery Barn. And the cool thing about this is that you can purchase them individually and you can make as high as you want. Okay. But yeah, here is my bookshelf. Surprise, wood again. I very like how simple it looks. And you know, I can deconstruct them and then just add on if I want to or just take it out, make it as high as possible. This is my closet. As you can tell, it's very tiny. Uh, I guess I can show you guys. This is, I do have a lot of clothes. And the shelves, I end up taking two and putting it down here so I can have like a more I don't know, organized closet system I was going for. Um, but yeah, pretty much it. All right, and this is my bathroom. Yeah, uh, those are all my skincare product stuff. <laughs> and which leads us back into the front doorway. Yep. That's about it guys. So, you know, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, but yeah, take care.